Happy 420. Oh, right. It is a joyous holiday today on the Just Audio podcast. My name is Zeke Fowler. And this is Kota. And, uh, yeah, I've been dipping into it. No, of course not. <laughs> oh, no, not you, of course, but I, I most certainly have been dipping into it. It's, uh, it's been a fun morning to, it's like 2.58 now? Yeah, 2.58 Western Time, so that's, uh, been doing that since about 8 this morning, so, pretty chill. I'm, this is gonna be a podcast where Zeke don't yell as much, Zeke don't get too excited, he's just, you know, he's cool as a cucumber motherfucker. That's probably a good thing for the co-hosts. It is, Coda. It is. Alright, so how's your week? Oh, it's been great. It's been uh, sunny all week. But I but I hear it's going to rain a little bit later this week. Ah, oh, that sucks. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been that way for a while, hasn't it? It's just been like, we're going to get like two solid days of just bright, beautiful sun, then three weeks of just frigid, cold rain. Like, it's like, not only is it like, like it could be like 70 outside, but when the rain has fallen down, it's like, it's... It's like, oh, it's like, oh, cold shower! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's, is that your week? Um, well, yesterday, yesterday I was practicing driving when it was, it was about that traffic time. Yeah. And I learned how intense that could be. You gotta figure out when to stop and when to move again. Yeah, it's, it's toughy. Yeah, it is. Other than that, I had a pretty normal week. Cool, cool. Um, as for my week, I, uh, started working on a new play. I had had an idea for something. Um, it has a very, it's a very unoriginal idea, but what has really excited me about doing it is that, um, the former co-host, the the former co-host of the show, Michael, um, he gave, he told me the idea that, um, what what I should go for is trying to write the impossible play. And that's a that's like no, there's tons of plays that are impossible that still get made. The point of it is just like um, just like what you're writing is just like like just to make a director when they look at your script go, how the how the fuck am I gonna? T-? It rotates to a different place in time. What does that mean? <laughs> he runs into the room historically. <laughs> I think you meant to write hysterical. <laughs> no, historical. No, historical. You're the director. You figure it out. It's just put words and that makes no sense word sentence. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it's, um, uh, it's about a family at Thanksgiving coming together. It's an older idea I've had before, but it recently came back to me and I just went, you know what, I could do that. Right. I, but I, could, I could fuck with that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's been my week. Yeah. And of course, we all know about today, but we'll get more into that later. Right now, we're going to go through our news cycle. First bit of news... Um, Guile's back. Yes, he's gonna be in Street Fighter Five. He's gonna be. In, he is in Street Fighter Five. But yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Was that starting when the trailer came out? Yeah, when the trailer came out, that's that's like to tell people, yo, Guile, pick him up. Okay. And of course, with the new um, Street Fighter system, you can um, by playing the game, you get fight money, and you can use fight money to get the characters. But there's also a season pass available if you're like, I don't, I don't have time to fucking grind out fight money. I'll just buy them. But like, it's, they're at least being a good video game and giving you the option of earning it right. instead of just because like me, I would have been like, you know what? It could it probably it's probably gonna take me a lot longer than most people to get Guile. I'll just oh no, I'll, I'll get him eventually. I, I, I'd probably do that too. Yeah. Ah, it's uh, I, he's free. I'll, I got time. I don't mind spending money on a video game, but I want to do it as less as possible. Yeah, yeah. no, exactly. Because like you know. Just, like, I don't know, my whole thing about DLC if it's is, is like, um, did you make a full game? Okay. What's something you did what's something you couldn't do, but you wanna do later? Why don't you add that to the game? Or it's just like, hey, we made this game, but we wanna add an extra character to it, so we gotta shake shit up. You know, that's you know, they're just like, Oh, we have to do this or like or like, um, we can't we don't have the time to make this game as is. Let's let's like rework the game. So it's like this is modify it slightly to be a full game without that piece, and add that piece later. Right. Yeah. But not don't do it intentionally. Like it only do this if it's like, like ideally you would do this if this was like, ah oh, fuck, we have to do it this way. But 
we all know people just do it that way so they can make extra money. <laughs> <laughs> well, is this okay? So we take this twenty dollars out of this game, release it for sixty, make them pay for an extra twenty dollars. Yeah, no, no, I don't yeah. like that. I, you, like you said, it's like a game that's already good enough as it is, and then there's yeah, that's what you do. Um, but yeah, no, back on Guile. Yep. Um, I like his new costume. And yep. um, instead of him wearing his traditional army fatigues, he's uh, he's he's wearing his officer's uniform. He's like he's not he's not in the field right now. He's like he just he's at the office. Yeah. Like he's at the military office, just hanging out that Air Force because he's an Air Force pilot. I like the tie. He's just got sunglasses on at all times. Also, I like his face. Yeah, the way his face is shaped, it's very angular. It's really it's very strong. Right. It's, yeah, it's, his guile should be. His chin, it's extra square. It's extra square. He's like fucking square jaw guile as he should be with his strohine hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe someone based uh, an American hero on the nuts. I don't know, that's the, the, for like people who don't know, um, guile was um, originally based on um, Rudolf von Stroheim, who is a character from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, um, who was a Nazi, and like one of the big aspects about his character, despite the fact that he was like, a very powerful Nazi cyborg, um, was that he had this like broom kind of hair, and they use his like build and look, um, and I guess origin in the military, um, as the basis for Guile, who was um, in design documents referred to as character for Americans to like. <laughs> it's better than what Blanca got. <laughs> oh, Blanca. Oh, God. Remember... Let's just say Blanca's slave anklets that he has were a lot more meaningful over in the uh, Japanese design documents. <laughs> yeah, and we'll stop it at that. We'll stop, it at that. We'll stop there. A little bit of mystery. Go on the Google. Yeah. So, any of your thoughts on Guile? Oh yeah, he's, he's one of the very many regular characters, so by the time he came back... Yeah, yeah he's usually um, a world warrior that there's like always in the lineup. Right. It's, it's kind of weird for him to be DLC. Like, um, on the Super Best Friends podcast, they said something like, Wow, I can't believe I'm excited for Guile! Because you don't normally have to be excited for Guile. Right. Yeah. And, uh, I guess before we go on the subject of Guile, his theme song was... Really awesome. It was. It was. I love the. I love the. Re I like like it's just the Santana guitar, like Carlos Santana guitar remix of the whole theme, where it's it's just like every note is played out on the guitar, but it's got this fucking flair and sass to it. It's so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Dum -dum 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 -dum. And they play. They do it both. They do it both like digitally. The da 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 da. But they also do it with the guitar. It's like dum -dum 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 -dum. So they're playing it both at the same time. It's real cool. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Moving on. Okay. Power Rangers movie has released specs and pictures for uh, Rita Repulsa for the movie. Right, the main villain. <laughs> the, main, the main villain of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And Babe has got a whole new look. She does. Yes. She's like greener. She lost the uh, head, head gear. Yeah, she lost the uh, twin tail... Um, which hat um, does not wear the big brown garb, and also she doesn't have the. I don't. I don't know what it was, but she had like some kind of headdress. Like she was clearly wearing like that gambit sock hat that doesn't have like like kind of cuts off to here. Like you take a sock hat and you cut off the head, and then you just cut the face around. She clearly oh. had one of those, but she also had some kind of like shrine maiden rib, evil shrine maiden ribbons around that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know she had a very messy, bland design, but it worked because it conveyed witch. And I think, like, in, I think in both versions, Power Rangers and um, the Jew Ranger, yeah. um, that character is is wholly saved based on the perform the over the top performance of child TV actors. <laughs> <laughs> well, actors for child TV shows. The person who played um, Barda and uh, Rita were not children; they were ladies. Yes. Yeah. And Elizabeth Banks from uh, Wet Hot American Summer, Zack and Mary Make a Porno, and <laughs> I'm listening up her thing, she's just in like, I don't know, it just seems like a weird thing, like I don't know how, I don't know what Elizabeth Banks' whole like, stake in being Rita Repulsa is really, like, I think I think it's just one of those deals where it's just like, um, actually more topical, um, Ghost in the Shell movie, so, 
they they came out with that. But um, Makoto Kusanagi is going to be played by Scarlett Johansson, oh. not a Japanese lady. Oh, yeah. um, and um, how and a lot of that's that's fucked up in its own um, own way. Yes. The only way I bring it up is because like they like someone was like, I want to make a Ghost in the Shell movie. Well, can Scarlett Johansson play the main character? She's hot right now, <laughs> but she's not. She's not Japanese. She's 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 Jewish. Well, maybe she's Japanese in this movie. I mean, what is race anyway? <laughs> uh. You're just like, what the fuck? But anyway, I think this one's just like, okay, so we need a star for this. How about Elizabeth Banks? I just saw The Hunger Games and she looked like Rita Repulsa in that. <laughs> and then, of course, it being Power Rangers and it a wholly corporate product, they were just like, no, yeah, sure, yeah, put Elizabeth Banks in. And I was like, but like, I want to know, like, I don't know what Elizabeth Banks' actual feelings to being in Power Rangers. The thing is that I don't care about the actors who are playing the Power Rangers yeah. because beyond the Yellow Ranger, um, they're all relatively unknown actors who have been on like a small role here, extra there. Like uh, this, this, this is their big break, and they'll go nowhere because that's how Power Rangers works. Yeah, only yeah, one I mean, person in Power Rangers got to be successful. Right, right, right. And they're a voice actor. Actually, that's not true. Time Force Pink is actually doing pretty well as well. Everyone else is kind of like, I don't, I don't really think. I just think they got lives and moved on. Yeah. Because I mean, you look at what everyone does. Yeah. But any hoozles, um, that's you know. Anyway, back to my thing. Well, I, I was like, but like Elizabeth Banks. I don't know. If she's like, hey, do you want to be in the Power Rangers movie? And she's like, who would I be? Rita Repulsa. Alright, I'd fuck with that. <laughs> I don't really think she cares. It's like that was a kids show, right? Sure. What, what am I gonna look like? The, what, am I gonna look like the witch? I'm cool with that. It's just like no. Just, yeah, look, yeah. Like I like. It's like my whole feelings about it, it's like I don't think it's a paycheck for her. I don't even think she cares if it flops. It's just like <laughs> I'll, I'll. You offered it to me, so right. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. Just, about? All he had to do was ask. It's just like, <laughs> it's just like the most apathetic thing ever. It's just like, you're gonna give a good performance? Pa? Yeah, totally. Just tell me what to do. As long as you direct me to give one. Like, I don't... I'm just here. <laughs> it's kind of... But, um, anyway. That's my feelings on Elizabeth Banks. I don't hate her for the role. I think she'll do a great job. I just think it's funny. It's just like, who's gonna be Rita Repulsa? Elizabeth Banks. It's not that you have any good idea on who's gonna be in a Power Rangers movie. It's yeah. just... At least they pick somebody. Yeah. Alright, but so, anyway. Yeah, what are you about to say? As for the costume. Oh, yeah, yeah. One. Oh, yes. So, um, what has divided the ever so love to complain people Power Rangers community, of which I am a part of? <laughs> um, they were, um, everyone's a little divided on this costume. Um, a lot of people are like, it doesn't look anything like it. And then, like, other people are like, no, 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 no. I see what they're doing. The um, green reptile, green reptile armor, gold trim. Ah, I know who's gonna be the villain in the second movie. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it was, I, I, you know, even even before that, even before we got to see the Elizabeth Bank costume, like Elizabeth Banks Rita costume, I totally, like, I think we all knew who was going to be the second villain of the Power Rangers movie franchise right. if they got a second movie. Yeah. Yes, it, it was like, who, oh, who would it be? It's like, oh, cool. Let's just introduce Lord Zed. Nah, man, Lord Zed's like part three. That's that's <laughs> Lord Zed. It's like you do Mighty Morphin. Lord Zed is would be number Even three. Later. That, that'd be like the fun. Like that's who you finish on. But like the middle guy, of course, would going to be Tommy. Assuming there's a trilogy because we just got started. Oh, we just got started. Here's the thing. Um, fuck, man. I feel like the Divergent series can yeah. continue. Like Power Rangers can continue. You're probably right. Yeah, and like, you know, and like, here's my feelings, like, I love Power Rangers, like, I still watch the, I still watch the kids show, it's just, when they said like, okay, there's gonna be a new Power Rangers movie, I just went, I, cool, let's, uh, let's see what happens. Hope it's good, like, I, like, knock my fucking socks off. But I don't care. <laughs> it's just like it's like Zeke. We're going to make a movie for you. It's just like like of all the things I like. I don't know. Like I want to point at something in my room that I'd like to see as a I like to see as a movie more than Power Rangers. More than Power Rangers. It's uh, I'm pretty good one. 
<laughs> Wait, what do you got? We're playing it. JoJo? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think JoJo would be a good movie, but I'd be more interested if someone went, you know what? Fucking, we're doing Phantom Blood as a movie. And people would just go, what? <laughs> That's going to be terrible. It probably would we're be. We're good. But it's just like when people say like, Power Rangers is going to be a mo- oh, is going to be a movie. I'm just like, well, it's been 20 years, hasn't it? I mean, that's what happened with Transformers. It's like, guess what? There's going to be a Transformers live action movie. Well, it's been 20 years, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah it has, yes, it has. Everyone addresses it just like, you no. Know, every t- just just like get ready for it, guys. Um, get ready for the um, uh, fuck do you call it? Steven Universe cart like Steven Universe live action of uh, cinematic universe 20 years from now. Oh my gosh. A live action movie because it's been twenty years. Is that is that why? Oh no, because about? like no, I keep thinking about this. And I keep looking at it. It's just like um, levels of nostalgia. Okay, so I guess a big like well, that was the nineteen forties. Maybe with maybe Flash Gordon's a bad idea mm-hmm. because I don't know. Maybe the reruns for Flash Gordon were popular in the seventies, but like it's like Flash Gordon was a well known like popular IP in the eighties. Like the cash on like sci fi like old sci fi nostalgia. Fucking make that a movie. Yeah. Twenty years from now, and then like in the nineties, where you have like uh... oh fuck no, you... they they kind of gave that up in the nineties, didn't they? It's been like no, nah, that's when like superhero movies were just like no, nah, we're good. Yeah. Fuck um Batman, we, we can have Batman. What about Spawn? No, you can have Batman. And uh, maybe Blade. Blade's cool, but like no, those are just of the time. Those are just kind of like of the time things that were made yeah. in the movies. The nineties didn't really have that. I don't know. I think maybe this is a new metric. Maybe this is like a new dawning that we're seeing. Yeah, with, with this, with this, and you know, someone's talking about Pokemon. Oh fuck! That's a terrible fucking idea. It is. That's such a bad idea. No, no, don't make a Pokemon movie. Like, like, man, you know what? I'm gonna go with controversial opinion. Digimon would make a better movie than Pokemon because. Here's what you gotta rationalize a Pokemon. Like, okay, I'm gonna take this from like. Here's two, as three aspects of like why you shouldn't fucking do it. You can do it. It is going to be made. You fucking watch. It will be made. And it will be terrible. But three reasons why there should never be a fucking Pokemon movie. <laughs> Number one, it's about animal slavery. <laughs> I fucking play and love those games. And you Can know, I? you're, 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 it's, it's digital cockfighting. I mean, <laughs> deny it. Like, just deny that shit. You can't. Yeah. You can't. No matter how much you love Pokemon, it's hard to, it's, it's hard to see that. You can't deny that to... shit, so be fucking weird justifying that. Two, um, is it gonna be based off the video game or the cartoon? Because if it's based off the cartoon, no one wants to see live action Ash. Yeah, did, did they learn nothing from Pokemon Live? <laughs> no, ex- exactly, Pokemon Live t- t- speaks fucking wonders about that. And and then I'll, and then also it's gonna be based off the video game. Red is a like bare bones, no personality character. He is literally a chess piece that you just move around and have throw Pokeballs. There's nothing there to work with. I mean, you could go into the mangas where they've like talked about red, like the like the various many of them. Maybe even go to like uh, I got the electric boogaloo I rescued from a library. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because that was in the kids section. They were tearing that shit up. They didn't deserve it. I know. I, know. And I paid for that book. It's like sorry we couldn't find it. How much was it? It was like seven bucks. Well, here you go, seven bucks. <laughs> so like, that's my book now. But anyway, it's just like ah. And like, what's, what's going on? It's two? I was like, I get two? Yeah, okay. Gonna... Three. Final part plan of like, why that's a bad idea to make a fucking Pokemon movie. There's no lore. I mean like, all the Pokedex entries are just kind of like, joke cutesy things for like, <laughs> mo- like cu- joke cutesy monster facts. Um, like, I mean, there isn't, I mean, there's like deeper, like Pokemon is not a world of lore, it's a world of detail. And there's tons of detail about like how things could have been, what could have been, what Pokemon mean, what they represent, how they're designed, because Pokemon actually, all the Pokemon actually have a really intelligent design to them. Yeah. You wouldn't know or care because it's a corporate product. They just have artists that put too much work into that concept. But you know what? Makes it richer for it. That's why people, that's why like, um, even though people bitch that they keep making new Pokemon, 
a lot of the new Pokemon stick around are memorable. Yep. Dude, there is not a stinker in X and Y. Right. X and Y is lackluster as that game was. There is not a stinker of Pokemon design. And they only made 70. They just went like, you know what? Fucking stop here. Don't don't force nothing in. Like, these 70 new ones, a couple of these Mega Evolutions, which are just redesigns of already cool-looking Pokemon, or Pokemon that you're just like, that's pretty dumb, and they jokingly made them dumber, like Slowbro. <laughs> it's just like, what would Mega Slowbro look like? Um, and that shelter is more in control, I guess. <laughs> how about we let the shelter just fucking consume it completely? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 we can fuck with that. We can fuck with that. But anyway... Um, speaking of Pokemon, so yes. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, Game Freak and the Pokemon Company and Nintendo applied for uh, copyright for the names Solgaleo and Lunala. I guess I guess that's two words we can look forward to in the Sun and Moon games. Yeah, because you have Sol right mm. there for the for one of them, and then Luna right there for the other. So. Um, Freaking shot in the dark. These are going to be the legendaries on the box. Yes. But here's what we can do for the rest of this, like for the rest of this podcast. What? Speculate. Speculate. Right. And I'll, I'll, now we have the names here. What we have. Yeah. Let's try and break them down. Okay. Okay. Um. So Galio. What can we take from that name? Besides the sun part. Besides the sun part, soul me is Latin for sun, so clearly we have sun. Yeah. Um, the rest of it would be Galio. What if he Galileo? You know that. Might, you know what? That might be it. That actually, might be a thing because like something that, that's that's probably part of its name then because you know Galileo is the guy who figured out um, the Earth rotates around the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Galileo, Galileo. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> I watched a lot of those reruns when I was growing up. Oh yeah, the back when I was in elementary school, that was that was a, a good fraction of. Uh, oh yeah, no, they did that to me. In, they did that to me in, like elementary school throughout middle school. Teacher didn't want to teach, just made us listen to Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> schoolhouse Rocky, the chip off the block of your favorite schoolhouse, Schoolhouse Rock. Yeah. So so Galileo, so there you go. So like Galileo's involved. Right. So probably. all right. So I guess with rotation, could we assume that like it could be like a fire psychic type? Because those are pretty hip right now. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> we have Victini, we have Delphox, and I guess that would be that one. And I'm guessing with, um, now, with Gal, now here's the thing, with the name like Galileo or Leo, we could get two concepts out of it. What? One, it could be a very abstract looking Pokemon. Yeah. Like, um, even though legendaries tend to be more, like, all of them are definitely animal based. Yeah. This could be our first legendary that's a bit more like, an abstract concept because we have like like even with RCS even though it's a bit more abstract in its design it's still yeah. a horse right or like a fucking deer or some shit but um with this it could be like maybe a sun that has ro rotating planets around it maybe it takes a shape because maybe it has some kind of like this kind of like dynamic shape because of that mm. like it could be that but most likely with the word Leo at the end it's just going to be a large lion yeah, that, 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 that makes more sense in, yes. in, right away. Alright, then we have the other one, which is Lunala. Lunala. Hmm. Now, if we know our Lion King lore... <laughs> <laughs> Nala was Simba's, um... Girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in fact, actually, that might be, like, Swahili for something. We could probably... We're gonna do that, guys. Um, while we're looking, we're going to look up Nala. Now I'm th now freaking shot in the dark here, but I'm going to assume because the word Luna is in there. This yes. is because that that singular word. Um, I believe Luna is Latin for the moon, also Spanish for the moon. Yeah. I that maybe this might be the moon legendary. Now, I don't want to assume that just because the word moon is in there, but I, I don't know. I think there's, there's not many more options for that. Uh, I always enjoy when when you hear about sun and moon. It's yeah. Sorok and Luna Toner are so, <laughs> kind of significant for some reason. Alright, All right, cool. It's a girl's name, so we can look that up. Popularity and or Oh, wait. Oh, that's the meaning, popularity, and origin. Okay. So the meaning, popularity, and origin. 
a noon from a uh, baby name website. So, Nala. I don't know what that means. So, so apparently neither does the website. Okay, but you know, let's extrapolate from Nala what little what little we uh what little we know about that name. Maybe it could be dueling lions. Yeah. Because with black and white, we had two. Oh, forever we have had two dragons, and um, the first time we had like mascot legendaries, we had two birds. Right. What if it's like? What if we get two lions this time? Two lions fighting each other, like. like... So then, of course, we don't know what the plot would be. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I hope they kind of do. It, I hope they pull a black and white and actually have a good story, because even though X and Y was neat, it was a. Uh, uh, the story's a little lackluster. I do, however, I ended up liking the main villain, though, because he's very much like a Joss Whedon villain, where he's like, he's all ego, and he's all ambition, but he, he also is like, re also he lives by the, uh, the cliche that, like, the villain thinks he's the hero, and even though, like, and even though he knows what he's doing is evil, he so fucking believes in it, like, he's just like, there's a part where you see, like, a single tear drop to the ground, and he's just like, I have to do it. I have to destroy all Pokemon to save the world. And then, I don't care what his moral was at that point, I just went, nah. <laughs> I like mine. <laughs> Del Fox. Let's beat this fool. I ain't, I ain't fucking with that. I ain't fucking with that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. So, Lunala, don't know, but could be two lines. How do you feel yeah. about two lines? Um, now that I think about it, over the few, uh, Few games, they're the legendaries like a girl like a girl, like a legendary. They've been conflicting with each other, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to think like either they're gonna stick with that, or these are two legendary Pokemon that stand together. Even that could be cool. Also, with Lions as main characters, that um, definitely gives a certain idea of uh, the origin of where to go. Yeah, because uh, everyone's been talking about like where it could it be. Possibly, it could be Singapore because they have the whole because like you know. The uh, Shifu statues. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so, so, like, lions around there. I don't know if there's any lions or Italy and Brazil, since those tend to be, like, the, uh, things. You know what? Could be Africa. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps Pokemon takes place in Africa, and you know what? You could take a train from France to Africa. Right. So they could still, do, so they could still do the thing they set up to do. Of course, Sun and Moon News has been really frustrating. Uh, maybe it's because I've been spoiled for all the years, but it's just, like... Normally, they're not this, like, they're not, they're not this fucking cat and mouse with their fans about, like, oh, this is what the game's gonna be, ooh, it's just a little taste of it, we're making it, ooh, we got the, we got the trademarks, ooh, we got the box arts, no, we don't, we're lying, ooh, we're gonna be on the show, we're not gonna say shit, just, like, the most cock tease for a fucking, the most cock tease for a fucking children's video game, like, just, just tell, fucking tell me something, like, just, you know, like, one thing, like, like, and it's, and, like, I really, and, like, honestly, I think with this level of just like cat and mousery that they're they don't have a game. I think like we're I th I I'm scared that like we might end up with another X and Y where it's just really by the numbers and boring, but everything looks really cool. Mm. Yeah, because Omega oh, Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was awesome, but that's like a that was just a really solid redo remake. Yeah, and the uh, the main game was a little eh, just right? Like, eh, eh. But I enjoyed it. I played it. I bought both. <laughs> Actually, I bought Y, like, way the fuck after, so... I can't complain, but... I can't complain. I had my fun time, but it was just... I've had more, I've had a more fun time. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Alright. We're gonna end the show with a, uh... Simple debate, because as you know... Day... Is the, uh... 20th of April... And Which is a uh, very popular day for stone airs like myself, and just general idiots to walk around and go, four twenty, bra. Yeah. I'm gonna get so turned up. Oh my god! Just not not go home and just fucking chill out the rest of the day and just go, ah, uh, for well, here's an excuse to spend money on weed and go to my house and fucking smoke it. No, I'll just be just fucking belligerent because it's like I've never done this before, so I'm gonna pretend to be really fucking cool, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people like that. So anyway, you're you, you don't at all. I, I don't. You don't partake at all, you know? No. I do. 
So this kind of puts us in an interesting situation, an interesting juxtaposition mm-hmm. of how we can view or appreciate, how we can view or appreciate uh, marijuana. Yes. Okay. Uh, my stance is I like it a lot. Your stance is? Um, I don't care, but uh, I see other people enjoy it, but so uh, I, I guess it's just it's okay. Okay, so your whole view is like, I don't want to do it, but it's cool for other people to do it. That's right. Fair enough. Because I don't want to, it was like, you know, a lot of people are, because like, one of the things that used to, like, that bothered me the moment I started doing it, yeah. was that um, the first time anyone ever seen me do anything weed is that I had an edible, so from that point forward, every time I brought, like, candy to, like, around with me, people would think that the candy is weed, so it's like, I, I'm gonna be cool if I eat these gummy bears, and I'm like, those are fucking gummy bears! I'm not gonna spend that much money on you! Also, who the fuck trick? also, who the fuck tricks people into, like, doing drugs, but, like, just... Fucking does that shit. Yeah. Toby Turner, allegedly. But, um. <laughs> but no, it's just. No, that's not fucking cool to do. No, I, and I'm yeah. glad you think that. I'm glad you think that. Yeah, no, I always hate peer pressure. Like, I would offer, like, I have, of course, I've offered you before. I've offered right. to everyone. And, like, ev- and, like only, like, ins- whoever said yes have been like, alright, cool. And, like, I've been really helpful with them. Like, just like, here's what you do. Be careful now. Having fun. Then I make fun of them while they're high because a lot of them feel guilty. It's like, I can't believe I did this. I'm just like, shut up, pothead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course, I got into it. Um, I don't know. I kind of lucked out when I got into it. Yeah. Because it was just like, guess what? It's legal in the state of Washington. Well, that takes all the guilt away from this. <laughs> I just did it. I just went, oh, why the fuck is this illegal? That's... It's bullshit. <laughs> Wait. You can make paper with this? And it grows anywhere? What the fuck? <laughs> it's, cl- it's clear. I don't know. We all know. It's, you know, it's like, if, you, if you've been to school, you know why. If you've been to, like, fucking college, you know why it's illegal and why it's a weird issue. But, I don't know. That's, well, that's your feelings. Just Yes. That's your feelings. That's my feelings. Um, yeah, so... On this joyous day, you know, just uh, blaze up, be responsible, and I'll see you around the Milky Way. Bye.